Open AI finally realized and understand what the meaning of their name and pushed a new open source library called Swarm. It's a new framework designed for orchestrating multi-agent system. The primary goal of this library is to enable developers to create and manage and optimize interaction between multiple, maybe hundreds or thousands of agents in a very flexible and scalable manner. So what is the key feature of OpenAI Swarm? The first thing, it's a multi-agent coordination and execution library. It has the ability to coordinate between agents like Crow AI, if you know it, and it's also very controllable and you can use it even with other library or other large language model, like I'm going to show you in a few minutes. I'm gonna use it with the Lama 3 from Grok and I'm not gonna use the OpenAI, which is automatically integrated inside it. It's extremely lightweight. The one of the common question that developer have is how well does Swarm scale? As you can see here, well, Swarm is still an experiment. It's just a brand new library. It designed as a lightweight enough to handle complex workflow with many agent. You can have thousands of agent deploy in the cloud and Swarm will dynamically orchestrate their interaction. This is a simple diagram for how the flow of Swarm will work. We have here a simple question. What is the weather in New York? And this is an actual agent and this is also an agent. This the main agent that get the input or the question and have function called transfer to weather assistant, which is this agent. The weather assistant agent have a function called get weather and it passed the input, which is the New York City. It understand that because it's large language model and it get the response over here, which is the green box. And finally it returned the final answer and it's over here as a final response. But as a developer, I think the best way to understand how the flow of the Swarm library work is creating code by ourselves and see how it works. This code will explain how to connect Swarm to any large language model that you want and how the agent connect together. Started by installing the OpenAI library itself. I'm gonna use it to connect to Grok. Grok have multiple models from Lama family that we can use just by getting our ABI key from over here. I get the Grok ABI key from user data.get. And in order to put the ABI key inside the Colab notebook without being seen by anyone, all you have to do is go to the secrets icon over here, click it. It will show up this kind of environment keys that you can use. You can add a new secret, here the name and here the value. And don't forget to switch this from disabled to enabled so the notebook can access the ABI key. Here you can set the temperature, the top B and the max token. You can increase this if you want to. But Grok is actually very fast and it's also for free. So you can push it to the max token that we can use. Here we're using a simple compilation from the OpenAI. And we're passing the model that we use, the message, the temperature and top B and the max token, and we don't want to stream the response. The first function actually is the, LL, the LLMM, which is for the messages. The second one for the initialization of the model itself. As you can see here, when you ask it the first one, the function that we have here, pass it hello world. And when I press run, it gives us response back, which is hello back. Now let's integrate this logic to the Swarm library. Here we have to install pipe install the Swarm library itself inside the Colab notebook. And notice here that I imported Swarm and the agent. And best the Swarm and a client called the LM client, which will take only one message just to me to show you that it's work. Then I'm going to show you how you can connect multiple agent together. The first agent over here must have a name, must have instruction, and a model. And the tool choice be auto here because I don't have any tools for it, but you can set it to false or also or remove it completely. The messages over here is just one message. I am a user. I send it a content which is high and here how to initialize the swarm client, aka the agent that we have by running swarm client that we created dot run and give it the agent and the messages. And as you can see here, it responds back hello. How can I assist you today? This is the minimum example of showing how to connect it to Lama 3 or whatever Lama that you want. But here is a 
more slightly complex example, but showing that the library is not ready for usage yet. I bought a swarm, I bought a system, I actually bought the client once more, the, the lemma that we bought over there. Created a function called transfer to agent B, which will be given to the first agent, agent A, and with it, it can call the second agent, which we have, which we have agent B. The first agent instruction, you are a helpful agent, but the second one should return in Hikos. And this is actually, I got it from the library main page over there. And if you remove this tool choice, let me show you, it actually will give us an error. So I actually removed the tool choice as, as the function here, it gives us an error. So I think there is, this library is not completely cooked yet. And it still needs some time in the oven. But if you bought the tool choice and it should be able to call the second agent. But here the response is kind of not correct. 100% sure I can help you with that. Could you please provide me with the specific details or message you want to transfer to agent B? Did I call agent B? No. That's basically the issue right now I'm having with the library. I know I should give you like the perfect flow of the video. This is library is amazing, but no, it's still not yet ready. If I was using agent library, I would stick to Crow AI because it's easier. Or if you want to have functional uh, complete control, you will use language chain and language graph. But it's a good start. I mean, like if you have one agent like this one, you can use it easily because it's right now connected to the llama without using OpenAI. But before we end this video, I want to show you that actually someone is creating swarm.js and a new implementation in Node.js from the swarm Bison library. And it follows the same format, everything, and it's 100% JavaScript. And here is an example of how to use it. It's almost the same thing, but in JavaScript, Node.js. Here in a new agent, it give it a tool and the tool calling a function called transfer to agent B and it give it the agent B, which is over here. Same thing, new agent name and instruction, create a new swarm client by giving it the OpenAI ABI key. And there is a function that will invoke itself in the end that will get the response and send the messages to agent A and it should get the response in the end over here, like. Hope glimmers brightly, new paths converge gracefully, but I can assist. This is like the thing that I couldn't expect to be happening because it's already have been published like yesterday. So it's straight out. I don't know how he did it in just a past time. It's brand new. Like there is only 17 stars and three forks of this library and two watches. So if you are interested in the version of Node.js of this library, go follow this GitHub repo. And I'm going to leave the link for it in the description. And finally, if you found this video respecting your time and providing you with a valuable information, please hit the like and leave a silly comment for the algorithm. And let me know if you had a better experience with this library and it didn't bug down with you when you used it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.